playing in front of those crowds at supper. Boxer Jokas Lenilas, be galo komunikabilus pastebintis visus esančius aplink ir galintis itinis samenu pasakoti savo patirtį skripčinių aikštelėje be analizuoti tai, koks žaidėjas jis yra. In college I was a predominantly a post-up guy and you know I've kind of moved more towards pick and roll and transition and um, I think that's that's the best way to play for me is just kind of run you know a fast-paced game and set hard screens and roll and pop or whatever but uh, I think in terms of offense I fit really nicely into the style that Saras has kind of created. I get lost in uh, rotations quite a bit uh, but it's something that I've been working on a lot uh, but my main position that I enjoy to play is five just because of how involved in the pick and rolls you are but um, regardless, I'm, I'm cool with whatever the team needs. I'm not really too fast on it. Uh, it's definitely the goal. Uh, you know, it's something that I want to do for myself and be able to prove that you know uh, I can play. You know, at that level. And um, you know, people now. You know, people say, oh, I want to be able to play at the best level. But the truth of it is, is like teams in in Euro League, I think could honestly beat teams in the NBA these days. Like that's how strong uh, it is, and the, you know, the gap keeps closing every single year. So. Uh, for me, it's you know, it's I, I really enjoy living in America. It's like a, it's like home to me. Uh, you know, obviously I love living in Australia, and you know, I'll probably play in the NBL as well one day. So I'm just loving you know, kind of moving around place to place at the minute, and you know, exploring the new lifestyles. And uh, the, the the big thing is, is I've just I, all my mates are back in America. So. Um, you know, on top of, you know, I really want to just go out there and uh, play with the best in the world and, you know, that's why I chose uh, Zalgris as well as, you know, I had the opportunity to play against, you know, the best guys in the world out in Europe, so. Um, but yeah, at the same time, like, I'm not really, like, sitting around being like, damn, like, I really just want to be in the NBA, like, I'm trying to soak up this uh, opportunity and, you know, make the most of it and I've been here for three, four days and honestly, I love the city. Uh, you know, I've had nothing but warm welcomes. This isn't for me to kind of become arrogant or anything, but it was for me to just to go in there and prove to myself and that I could play at that level and, uh, you know, compete with the best of the best. And it just happens, it just so happens that I did do that and uh, I proved it to a lot of other people as well. And, uh, you know, that, that, was, that was awesome for me. So uh, I think it'll help uh, with, you know, proving to, uh, you know, GMs and front offices in the NBA that I can play at that level. And um, I think in the long run, it'll help a lot. Sprendimą atvykti į Žalgirį Džiokas priėmė pakankamai lengvai. Laikus Belgrade jis taip pat prisimena džiugiai, o jo pirmas artimas susidūrimas su Lietuva, jo skrepšinių rinktinė ir būsimais bendraklubiais įvyko šių metų pasaulio taurėje. He was, uh, I think he was out here with you guys for a second, checking it out uh, early in the year after his gig in Bamberg. And uh, once he got there, it was like it was a completely different team. And, uh, you know, we, it, we started winning games a lot. And I think that's what it all comes down to for players is like if you win games, it does it all for you. So we started winning games. You know, we won the Serbian Cup, which is an awesome experience. Uh, we went to the uh, first round of ABA playoffs and almost beat the team that won it all. Um, so for me, it was it was a great experience. Uh, I really enjoyed living out there. I really enjoyed playing for Partizan. You know, those those fans out there are incredible and show nothing but love to players. So um, for me, it was one of the that was a really really great experience. And I'm you know I think this year will be even better. Playing against Lithuania in the uh, World Cup, I got a taste of what it would be like. And you know they dress up and you know they're going crazy, carrying the flags around. And it's just like that for me is like one of the best parts about basketball is feeding off fan energy and playing in a real live stadium because uh, you know whether it be home or away, like if you can go into an away stadium and then you know piss off a whole a whole crowd and really make their night bad, like that's a lot of fun as well. But playing at home in front of your own fans who are mad and you know love you and they're into the game and they they pretty much live the game with you. It's like they're out there playing with you is an awesome experience. So uh, just from the little taste that I saw at the World Cup, I'm really excited for it. Šiuo metu Džiokolendėlo gyvenimą iš esmės sudaro tik krepšinis. Jis neturi nei žmonos, nei merginos, nei vaikų. Tačiau šeimos tradicijos šventas reikalas. Dėl to, ką darė ir jo prosinėlis, ir senelis, ir tėvas, Džiokas buvo net padaręs pertraukas savo tuomet dar tik užsimesgančioje karjeroje. Aš buvo ir buvo ir buvo ir buvo pretty much like a boot camp up in the mountains for a year and you know that that really taught me a lot and then you know going to St. Mary's and uh, St. Mary's is where I really developed and uh, my love for the game and really started to uh, take off as a player I suppose. 
um, and that's, you know, I, I credit it to them. You know, Coach Bennett, all the guys out there did an amazing job and uh, Marty Clark was a massive influence for me and, you know, being out there was where I was just in a great situation where they really stuck by me and developed me every day and helped me out with my body and um, that's, that's honestly been the driving factor is those guys out there just do a, did a great job.